Hello, so this is Ryan Richardson at Community Chrysler again. I wanted to start off by apologizing. I really wanted to get this video out to you sooner, uh, but we got pretty busy and I got a little uh, got a little delayed. So I apologize, but I'm going to shoot a video of the outside of the truck, the inside, and really let you get a feel for it. Uh, do me a favor, if there's anything that you'd like to see that I don't get covered, don't hesitate to call me at 812-340-7575. Uh, okay, this is a 2008 Dodge Ram SLT with the Hemi. Um, I'll get up close on the tires and try to let you see everything. I apologize for the shadow. There you go. Let's show you the tread depth. has the running boards on it. Like I was telling you, it does have the Hemi. Really good looking truck. It's got the factory installed tow hitch. Also your connector right there. Little ding, just uh, I mean, not big at all, but I want to show you the good and the bad as well. Not that it's necessarily bad. It's got a lock on your uh, your bed. So if you were to have something in there and have this closed, you'd be able to do that. These rails go across side to side and allows you to roll over that cover. Good looking exhaust. All right, I'm gonna open it up and show you the inside. It's got the power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Also, it's got the upgraded sound system, the Infinity. Another thing I really like with this trim level is you get the um, big middle console here. Got a lot of extra storage. It'll help if I unlock the doors. Another thing that you have sorry about that another thing that we have um, is the ability to fold up the seats let's say you have something that's muddy you don't want to get on the carpet you can fold this out and it can go all the way across there and when you're done with it just put it back pull the seat down and a couple cup holders there a little extra storage in the back, change, miscellaneous, whatever you want to put in there. I apologize for all the shadows. It's, I don't really know what I can do about it. Really clean truck. You can tell whoever had it before took good care of it. There's your glove box. A little extra, whatever you want to put in there. Okay. I'm going to go around the front again and step inside and show you some of the features on the inside of the truck. 
and we'll take it for a quick spin. Right at 60,000 miles, 63.65 to be exact. Uh, here's your four-wheel drive, and it's four on the fly. So as long as you're going under 55 miles per hour, you can put it right in four high or take it right out of. Your cruise control settings right here on the wheel. What's nice with that is once you get familiar with where it's at, you don't have to take your eyes off the road to set the cruise in. And this is a power sliding rear window. So let me flip this around here. What's nice with that is that's about the only way you're going to open that window because you're not going to reach back there while you're driving. So you just have to slide it open, slide it close. Okay. Um, see, there's your compass. I don't know if it, there we go. You got your compass and your temperature outside and you can get a lot of information off of that. Um, couple spots to charge, couple power outlets there and there. There's one in there as well. So you can charge lots of things simultaneously if need be. Uh, three cup holders. That's more of a can holder in the middle. And a little extra storage both there and there as well. All right, I'm gonna take this for a quick run around the building. Also, it does have the auxiliary in. So you can run your cell phone, iPod, iPad, i whatever you've got in there and uh, play your music straight through your car speakers. Okay. It's been a busy Monday, so there's a lot of vehicles all over the place. Let me find somewhere where I can step on it just a little bit to let you hear it, feel it. Okay. There we go. And of course, Melissa, the Hemi does have the power that you'll need when you want it. Um, really a great sounding, great running truck. Apologize for the beeping. I don't have my seatbelt on. Um, but anyway, I'd love to talk to you more on this vehicle. I hope I get to speak to you soon. Uh, don't hesitate to call me like I was saying. Uh, number is 812-340-7575. That's my cell phone. Or you can call me at the store, which is 765-342-5000. Or just reply to this email and we can communicate that way. Thanks so much, Melissa. Have a great day.